I'm so excited to be here at ISRS 2024 in New York City. What a fabulous city to be hosting a Congress. You know, so many people from all around the world have attended. It's wonderful to see everybody and connect again. Uh, we had a great opening ceremony last night. It was wonderful to see our president, Mark, sing with his wife. That was an absolute highlight. And this morning, have Scott tell us all about his personal journey. That was absolutely wonderful. So uh, a great start and some interesting uh, keynote presentation this morning on AI and radio surgery. So definitely something to look at in the future. Uh, but it's been wonderful so far and I look forward to the next couple of days as well. So every time you come to a Congress, you'll learn new things, which obviously all of us want to keep doing, both to stay interested and active in the field, but to keep educating and redefining our own uh, practices and improving patient outcomes. But obviously on the social side, it's always wonderful to connect with our international colleagues who we don't get to see a lot. Really helps build those relationships and maybe further education and research in the future. So two win-wins, always good to come. Every time we're always trying to get feedback from our membership to try and improve what we do in practice. So how can we redefine the Congresses to keep it being relevant for our members? Because if the members aren't finding the content relevant, they're not gonna keep coming. So we always do wanna keep improving each time, make sure that the education sessions are relevant each time for our members. Uh, also looking to connect with the members outside of the Congress through webinars, other functions through the, the, the website particularly. Uh, and social media is becoming a bigger, a bigger way of connecting with our members as well. So we're always welcome to feedback because that keeps us relevant for our membership. I've been on the board now for I guess two years and uh, it's been a learning process, obviously learning about the different committees and now being a member of a number of different subcommittees as well. So learning about the intricate functions of what you don't see behind the scenes and helping look to the future and how we can keep expanding ISRS keep it relevant for our membership um, and uh, how do we stay financially viable as well because that's an increasing factor as well. Sponsorship money is getting harder to come by so looking at other ways that we can continue to function as a society uh, and all of that's volunteer so you know all of our board members are working hard in the background uh, doing this often for me in Sydney very late at night in my pyjamas uh, trying to uh, keep moving forward and keep redefining things for our membership. So I'm very, very honoured to be appointed as the treasurer and uh, you know that's, that's fantastic. It's such an honour to continue to be a part of the board and help in any way I can. Um, obviously very lucky to be supported by a great group of people behind me who will be really helping me in that role. Uh, but I'm hoping to see ongoing uh, support uh, with the board and the officers over many years to come. Look, I mean, how else do we connect with our colleagues internationally? We learn from each other and then obviously also trying to bring that knowledge locally back to our own practices and maybe our junior team because, you know, none of us are going to be here forever. So how do we succession plan for the next generation? And we do need to engage younger clinicians, students, trainee, uh, specialists as well to keep building that future for everybody. Um, and it's always good to have a, a, a grading or a scale of you know, senior uh, clinicians, middle career clinicians like myself, and then early career clinicians because that's how we plan for the future and we mentor people along the way. So I've been very lucky to be mentored by some of my colleagues such as Arjun Sagal, Giuseppe Manitti, um, always been there for me when I've had a question and I'm hopefully there for a number of other people as well. So that's how we do it. I'm really excited to be able to announce that we'll be welcoming you to Sydney in 2026. So please come down. We'd love to see you. We'd love to welcome you with your families as well. Take a little bit of time off work. Come and have a holiday and explore our wonderful country while you're here. But in Sydney, Harbour City, absolute highlight. We'll have a fantastic program for you and please come aboard. It's a wonderful place. We're very lucky to be supported by multiple different techniques. So we have both extensive LINAC SRS experience in Australia, but also gamma knife surgery and cyber knife. Uh, we have lots of intracranial and extracranial specialists in Australia. We're rapidly expanding in the field, also in MR LINAC. So there's certainly a lot of opportunities for researchers, for presenters, um, but also for new connections with international colleagues and Australians.